is a quick um, demo of how to turn a Word document into HTML or SCORM package to include within Moodle. Um, so what I've got open in front of me is a basic Word document, um, which could be around an activity, for example, reading a poem um, in class. In this case, the poem is Dish des du matin, by Prévert. And essentially what would happen here is perhaps we've read the, read the poem together, people have had it distributed, and there's a set of questions around it that are working on the language, which is in this case dealing with the past participles and passé composé, um, building up to um, a creative task at the end. So that's fine, you can do it on paper. However, with the wonders of uh, our Moodle, we can make this a little bit more interesting. So what I'm first going to do is to click on Add-ins, and I'm going to turn on my Wimber Create. So I'm clicking Start, and I get a little message that tells me that it's switched on. Now I've got all sorts of exciting additional bits and pieces that I can do with my Word document. The first thing I'm going to do is, from the Format menu, I'm going to identify the headings and subheadings within my document. So I'm going to select them, Format, make that into a heading. Select, Format, Subheading. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. Just going to retype that. That's a bit of formatting has been carried over. There we go. Um, from the uh, when I copied and pasted it into the document. Uh, and what I've got essentially, as I say, is um, an introduction to the activity, the objectives, the learning outcomes that uh, I want people to have achieved or to be moving towards at the end of the session. And at this point here within the document, I would be reading. Um, the poem and students would have it in front of them. However, now I've got my window create, I can actually add using the interaction and the media selection. I can add some video into this that I've prepared already. So I've used a webcam and I've already created a little clip of me reading the poem. So I can browse to that document, uh, which is a Windows Media video file, and select it and add it in. Uh, when it appears in the final document, I want it to appear um, in a window, in the centre of the window. And now when I click OK, I'll actually also put in a little bit of detail um, here. And uh, this is the A bit of additional information. For accessibility purposes, it's useful always to have a bit of information there. Now you can see that I've got a little box appeared. And you can also see that as I was putting those headings in, my documents now have tags. These are the sort of tags that um, web pages can understand. Um, so that, when it's actually finally um, a course, will mean that this will look quite different 